What up, what up, what up, YouTube God West? Welcome to another awesome figure review on Toys Collectibles channel. Figure review starting with the Batman Arkham Origins. Batman Deathstroke. Damn, this figure is so fucking awesome and this figure is so sick. I mean, wow, this, this figure is so hard to come by. And um, very awesome figure to have, all I have to say. And he comes with quite a lot of accessories for a figure. An accessory he does come with, he comes with his little, how can you call this, boomerang stick or whatever you want to call this, a boomerang stick or joystick. But, you know, this is a very nice figure and I love the paint applications on here. It got like the nice silver paintish going on and you can see a little damage of the stick of him holding it tight. Really nice silver paint applications going on with it. So, you know, my camera doesn't want to focus. That's so weird. But, um, yeah, very, very awesome figure, man. I mean, the stick is really cool. It does, it doesn't fit in his hand at all. But, I mean, what you could do is, I, I mean, you could try to, like, slip it on the back where he keeps his sword. But it doesn't, like, there's no place to actually keep it on the back. So, um, or in his hand because... His hand actually are both like open grip. And as you can see, my figure fell. Shit. So, you know, excuse my language. But yeah, shit. Yeah. But the accessories, he, other accessories he does come with. He comes with a nice poster handgun. Pistol handgun. Really cool. Really nice. I really love how the detail is with this gun. Wow, this gun is just really badass. I mean, look look at the paint applications. They did the nice silvish paintish, and then got the black handle on the part for him to hold the grip of the gun. And I love how they did the gun. It has like a little hole on the front of the gun, so it's nothing like a regular gun they just did. They really did a nice, really nice job on this gun. It is so nice. This is like, wow, I like it it a lot i like it and then i love how they did the um holster for his gun actually like you put his gun on the side you can have him holding the gun or you could just slip it back in so it's very easy it's like a soft plastic rubber material so it's not like a hard plastic that you got to mess with it so you could just put it in inside his Holster very easy, slips in very easy, and stays there nice and tucked and firm. As you can see right there, it's really nice. I love how that detailing is right there. And then his sword right here. I'm not gonna take his sword out of his hand because it's actually hard to take out, but let me try it. Yeah, like I said, his sword is pretty hard to take out of his hand, so it's actually in pretty good. But you know, looking from the sword on the detailing, it's really nice. I really love that detailing look to it. I love how it looks and it's really cool. I really like it. You know. And then you can actually put his sword on the back right here. So, you know, if you want to have him holding the sword or not, you could put it back in where it goes. And it slides in very easy and I love the paint and the detailing on the figure. It's really nice. My only gripe with this figure is um this is actually my second death stroke. My first death stroke I had when I took him out of the package, um, his leg broke. So, you know, right here on his left, it broke. And, you know, dental giants or whoever makes these figures, they need to, you know, work on, you know, having these figures hold themselves together. I mean, it makes so much good figures when it comes to so good detailing of the sculpting of the figures. They make certain parts so cheap, like the joints and stuff. So, you know, I had to Gorilla Glue it back, but the leg was still good. And then um, this part right here also broke because it was too loose and wobbly. So be careful with that, you guys, because that will break easy, too. So my boy, Arnell, a big shout out to my boy, Arnell, too, for picking me up this figure at the San Jose Toy Show last week. And, you know, I was pretty happy to have this figure again. So, you know, I was pretty happy and stoked about that. And then looking on the front of his face is really nice. I love the sculpting of his face. It's really cool. You can see his one eye right there. It's really cool. 
so detailing. I love how the, the gear and the armor is really sculpted really nice, really sculpted really detailing from the top to bottom. I mean, this is really cool. They have two death strokes. I think the other one was the Batman Eliminate, but that one wasn't really that poseable like this one is. And it's really cool. He does have an ab crunch. He does have ab crunch. He does have arm joints, but his arms do not go all the way out, but they do go out forward. He does have elbow joints. His knees do bend. Uh, his head does go slightly up. His head barely turns to the right or left, but um, I haven't really messed with this figure that much to be, you know, seeing what else it does. But, you know, for an awesome figure, guys, I mean, I highly recommend this figure. This figure is so cool. I mean, it's like, this is a figure you want to have in your Batman collection because once it's gone, it's gone. And as you can see, this figure keeps falling second time it fell. So sometimes this figure doesn't have a good stance. So sometimes you got to um, balance them out very good for him to not fall. But, um, yeah, YouTube goers, this, I mean, the sculpting, like, on his, his accessories, like his bullets and ammo wrapped around his chest, his belt, it's really nice, really, really sculpted in very, very well. And then you can see right here on the sides, he got his little nice grenades, really cool. I didn't even see that until now, his little patch. So, yeah, I mean, it's a really good figure. Just be careful when you guys buy these figures because... Like I said, they will break eventually when you take them out. It all depends how you take them out. But it's not your fault if you take it out. It's just the, how the company makes their figures on them. So, you know, just be careful where you hold the sword because that part is, like, very easy to break because it hangs out very easy. And his legs, I mean, all depends how you pose them and how you use them. I mean, it wouldn't break, but it all depends how you, you know, deal with the figure. Yeah, guys, I mean, this figure is so awesome. And before I forget, I forgot to show you guys his shotgun ammo on his shoulders. That's pretty cool. I really like that detailing of there, too. Really nice. But anyways, guys, um, my rating for this figure is fucking awesome, man. I mean, 10 out of 10. And, you know, I highly recommend this. I highly recommend this for any Batman fans out there who likes Batman. This is a figure you do not want to pass. Because if you pass on it, it's going to, you know... It's gonna be hard but as you can see I slipped the stick inside his hand so he can actually lay it on his hand softly on the grip part for him to like hold it but it wouldn't you know go all the way in to like to a point when you want to put him in pose because it will just slip right out of his hand but yeah anyways guys that's my figure review on toys collectibles channel I hope you enjoyed the video I hope you like the figure and please leave comments, check out my other videos, and please be part of my fan page on Facebook at Toys Collectibles Channel. A big shout out to my boy Arnell again. Thank you, bro, for this figure. And yeah. Anyways, YouTube goers, I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.